Hello and welcome. Today we are diving into a critical topic in embedded and industrial security, the Trusted Platform Module or TPM, with a focus on the Infineon Optica SLB9672. We will cover what a TPM is, how it works with Secure Boot and why it's a game changer when paired with a Raspberry Pi in industrial settings. Let's get started. A Trusted Platform Module or TPM is a dedicated hardware-based security chip that's integrated into modern computer platforms. Its main purpose is to securely store cryptographic keys and perform cryptographic operations, completely isolated from the system's main memory. This isolation is key because it means even if the operating system is compromised, the secrets inside the TPM remain secure. TPMs play a foundational role in system integrity. For example, they enable secure boot by verifying the integrity of the boot process. They also support attestation, which allows remote systems to verify the current configuration and trustworthiness of a device. In Windows, TPMs are commonly used for disk encryption through tools like BitLocker, where the encryption keys are sealed within the TPM. TPMs also help protect sensitive operations like digital signatures and secure authentication. Most importantly, TPMs comply with international standards like ISO IEC 11889 and the specifications of the Trusted Computing Group, or TCG. In enterprise environments, they enforce a hardware route of trust and help organizations meet regulatory security requirements. Now let's talk about the Infineon Optica TPM SLB9672 with firmware version 16.13. This chip is fully compliant with the TPM 2.0 standard and it's certified to common criteria EAL4 plus as well as FIPS 142 level 2 with physical protections rated at level 3. One of its standout features is support for post-quantum security firmware updates, thanks to XMSS-based digital signatures. That makes it not only secure for today's threats, but also ready for future cryptographic challenges. In terms of cryptographic capabilities, it supports RSA up to 4096 bits, ECC with NIST curves like P256 and P384, AES, in 128 and 192 and 256-bit modes, multiple SHA hash algorithms, HMAC, key derivation functions, key agreement schemes and secure random number generation. All in compliance with NIST and RFC standards. It interfaces over SPI with data rates up to around 33 MHz, making it easy to integrate into PC-like platforms including the Raspberry Pi. It also offers about 51 kilobytes of non-volatile memory for storing additional keys, certificates and platform data. And it also includes a unique permanently assigned device ID, the endorsement seed, which is used for secure hardware identification, particularly in IoT and industrial environments. For deployment in harsh environments, this chip supports an extended temperature range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to about 150 degrees Celsius. And with built-in FIPS compliance, self-tests, EMC compliance and temper-resistant physical design, it is built for robustness in the field. On top of that, it features low power standby modes and power management capabilities to reduce consumption between secure operations. So what happens when you pair this TPM with a Raspberry Pi in an industrial setting? First, you gain a significant upgrade in device security. Keys, certificates and cryptographic processes are handled in hardware isolated from the Pi's operating system and kernel. This reduces the attack surface dramatically. Each device also gets a secure unique identity, which is incredibly useful for remote provisioning, over-the-air updates or even licensing scenarios. Since critical keys and measurements are protected inside the TPM's Platform Configuration Registers, or PCRs, the system is also protected against tampering and manipulation. Next, the SLB9672 supports both secure boot and measured boot. That means 
the entire boot chain from firmware to kernel can be cryptographically verified using PCR values and hash-based measurements. This creates what's called a chain of trust, ensuring that nothing unverified gets to run. When it comes to communication and authentication, the benefits are clear. TLS certificates, SSH keys and VPN credentials can be securely stored and used without ever exposing the private key outside of the TPM. In Industry 4.0 or OPC UA environments, this ensures machine-to-machine -machine communication remains trusted and secure. It also enables remote attestation. That means a device can prove its system integrity to a central authority before being allowed to access sensitive resources, ideal for managed industrial networks. The TPM ensures update integrity too. It verifies the digital signatures of firmware and software updates and blocks any attempts to roll back to older, potentially vulnerable software versions. Another critical point, the SLB9672 already supports XMSS-based updates, giving it a strong foundation for post-quantum cryptography, something that will become increasingly important in the years ahead. And finally, this chip is built for real-world industrial environments. It can operate in extreme temperatures and its physical construction is resistant to vibration and environmental stress, ideal for edge and field devices. Now let's take a closer look at Secure Boot, a security mechanism that works hand-in-hand -hand with TPMs. Secure Boot is a UEFI-based feature that ensures only trusted, digitally signed software is allowed to run during system startup. Its main goal is to prevent low-level attacks like tempered bootloaders, rootkits or firmware-level malware before the operating system even loads. The trust is enforced through digital signatures embedded in the UEFI firmware itself and when combined with TPM, Secure Boot becomes even more powerful. The TPM can store and report cryptographic measurements, so-called PCR values, which prove that the system booted into a known, untempered state. This is the basis for remote attestation and other advanced integrity checks. So why is Secure Boot important? First, it prevents malware from taking hold before the operating system has a chance to defend itself. Second, it ensures that the system's integrity is maintained, which is especially critical in embedded industrial and infrastructure environments. Third, Secure Boot is a prerequisite for advanced security tools like Trusted Boot, BitLocker or Remote Attestation. And finally, it's often required by compliance standards in sectors like healthcare, finance and industrial automation, for example. Let's talk briefly about TPM interface support in Windows, especially for Windows 11. Windows supports TPMs that are connected over LPC, SPI or implemented in firmware, commonly known as FTPM. These interfaces are recognized as trusted platform buses and they are available very early in the boot process. That makes them fully compatible with Secure Boot, Measured Boot and BitLocker. However, USB connected TPMs are not supported by Windows for platform trust. USB is not considered a secure or trusted interface in this context. TPMs connected over USB are not initialized during early boot and can't participate in critical trust functions. As a result, they don't meet the requirements for secure boot or Windows 11's hardware-based root of trust. They are typically used for development, testing or Linux-based systems, but not in production Windows environments. So to sum it up, a TPM like the Infineon SLB9672 brings real, measurable security benefits, especially in industrial and embedded contexts. When paired with a Raspberry Pi, it becomes a powerful platform for secure boot, trusted communication and tamper-resistant operation, all with long-term cryptographic strength, including post-quantum readiness. If you're designing secure systems for the edge, for industrial control or for critical infrastructure, this is the kind of hardware root of trust you want to have in place. If you want to test TPM on a Raspberry Pi right now, consider picking up the Let's Trust TPM2 Go for USB 2.0 from our shop by Zero right now. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe.
or check out the links in the description for more technical resources.